Hi, I'm Peter Clark. Uh, this is the Happy Tinkery. Um, some products that I've made, little tinkerings and uh, art and uh, woodworking. Uh, ever since I was like a toddler, I was kind of putting things together and, um, and I've been collecting tools then, um, definitely before I was even out of high school and, and just kind of kept working with metals and mostly wood. There's a few sculptures that I brought that I've done some brazing with. I enjoy uh, finding smaller pieces, especially at the sawmill that like the cabinet builders don't care for. And, uh, and then I find a unique figure or a little piece that's got a little, what they would consider a flaw. And then I think, ah, oh, there's something small I can make into something else that's small, but uh, maybe something functional or artistic. The unique figures in the, in the wood is really interesting to me. My primary source has been a sawmill at Emporia, uh, Tallgrass and uh, he kind of saves some boards back for me and I go there every so often and um, kind of look through them and um, fill up the back of my truck and come home and put them in my garage. I, I like to leave the boards in the garage in the attic uh, for some time to let them dry a little bit further. You almost just look at the raw board that's available and then think, well, what could I make with this? And so then it's, do I need an additional piece? Am I going to accompany it with uh, more than one board or is it just going to be the one board I'm going to kind of recut it and uh, and feature that one board for like uh, sculptures I get inspired when I go to the zoo or the bull is from the Abilene parade when they had uh, longhorn bulls at the end of the parade and the giraffe is obviously from uh, the zoo over here at Rolling Hills the sculptures were a little different I just really wanted to kind of reconnect with the, the welding that I learned in junior high and high school, but in a more artistic way. I kind of laid some things on my workbench and thought, well, if I, if I could just hook this together with this, it'll become a, a, an animal. And so I, I figured out what kind of a proportion the animal needed to have. His head would be, you know, so big. If his head is that big, if it's proportional to an animal, his legs need to be this long. And, uh, and then his, his whole body would have to be this long. So I, I just kind of stuck things together and uh, and then kind of had it with a little bit of movement so that the animal kind of feels semi-natural even though it's it almost looks like a skeleton but it's almost like a body at the same time I think it's the the creativity uh, being able to work directly with your hands to create something having a vision and then and then producing and, and having a result that is tangible and sometimes things don't always work the way you thought they would or you rework things. But uh, having something to share that is fun and sometimes, you know, it's, it's uh, aesthetically pleasing and some other times it's just so curious, um, you know, some things are a little more abstract.